They say the average home can experience up to 20 surges a day, and almost half of them originate from within the home. A big culprit is your air conditioner. Every time the outside fan and compressor unit turns off and on, it can be creating surges that go through your home's electrical system and can damage any electronics that are connected to the system, which nowadays is just about everything. If your home has a good grounding system, installing surge protectors at key points within the electrical system can save you from having to replace electronics or appliances before you need to. One of those key points is as close to your outside air conditioner as you can get. There's usually a disconnect or panel of some kind pretty close to the equipment. And that's where we're gonna install the surge protector. Now they make specific surge protectors for your HVAC system. You can find one online or at your local HVAC supplier if they sell to the public. The first thing we're gonna do is cut power. The surge protector is gonna be mounted on the side of the disconnect. We're gonna remove all the internal covers and locate a knockout on the side. Use a pair of pliers or screwdrivers to punch the knockout, then grab it with the pliers and twist, and it should come off. Like with any electrical project, you want to double check and make sure that the power is off. Use your tester and make sure that it doesn't light up. Feed the wires through the hole and the lock nut, and then tighten the lock nut down. You want to get the lock nut pretty snug. You may want to take a flathead screwdriver and put it on the edge of one of the ridges so that you can get more leverage to tighten it down make sure you wire it up based off of the one you're doing. We're gonna be wiring to the disconnect, so we're gonna use this wiring diagram. Now when you wire the surge protector up, it's important to wire it to the line side of the voltage. The wire's coming from the electrical panel to the disconnect, that's the line side voltage. The wire's going from the disconnect to the air conditioner, that's the load. We're gonna be hooking the surge protector up to the line side. So these wires in my disconnect are the line side, these are the load, so line is what we're gonna hook up to. Now you can't double tap these lugs. Double tapping is when you take and stick two wires up under this lug. You're gonna be tempted to do that because these wires are long enough to do that and you're like, oh, well I'll just hook them up under the lugs. You can't do that, it's a fire hazard. You're gonna take these, I had some scrap wire, but you're gonna make a, a, a pigtail and you're going to disconnect these wires here, hook them to the pigtail, hook them here, and then hook one wire back under the lug. Start by removing the line side wires from the lugs. Then we're gonna hook up our spare wires that we had to those lugs so that we can hook the rest of the wires to that pigtail. Make everything as neat as possible. Strip the wires. Here's another diagram to show you how I wired my disconnect. Even though you have all of this excess wire, you don't want to wind it up and stick it back here. We're going to actually trim these so that we've got them as short as we can get them and then connect them to our pigtails. When you hook up the black leads coming from the surge protector, you're gonna hook them up to the line side pigtails that you just made. It doesn't matter which black wire goes to which, the white wire will need to go to the ground. And then while you have the disconnect open, Go ahead and make sure all the connections are tight. Once you tighten everything down, move the wires out of the way. Button everything up and then turn the power back on. If you're comfortable working with your electrical, this project isn't that hard. Uh, if you're not sure what you're doing, and you don't feel comfortable, leave it up to an electrician or an HVAC technician. Thanks for watching. See ya.